வணக்கம் மீண்டும் இன்னொரு டிடி அந்த கோவிலை உங்களை சந்திக்கிறது எனக்கு மிக மிக ஹாப்பியாக இருக்கிறது ஸோ இன்றைக்கு வந்து நாங்கள் ஸ்காபோ கன்வென்ஷன் சென்டரில் கெனடியன் டேமோ சேம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் காமர்ஸ் நடத்தும் வாக்கசான் டுவெண்ட்டி செவன்டீன் இதாவது பதினாறாவது விழா இது நடக்கிறது ஸோ அதை பற்றி கொஞ்சம் நாங்கள் கேட்க போகிறோம் மக்கள்கிட்ட ஸோ லெஸ் கோ டாக் டு தம் அண்ட் ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் மோர் அபவுட் தி வாக்கசான் ஃபார் திஸ் சம்மர் ஜூன் ஃபோர்த் இட்ஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் ஐஸ் கம் ஒம் மீ டிடி லெஸ் கோ Good evening everyone. Uh, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome all of you this evening to attend CTC's 16th annual walkathon to raise uh, funds for the uh, kidney dialysis mission this evening. CTC is going to have the walkathon on Sunday, the June 24th to raise funds for the Scarborough and Rouge Valley hospitals. This year will be the 16th annual walkathon the scarborough hospital and we have raised so far more than 250000 uh, over the past several years uh, for the hospital <laughs> since the be- beginning of this year the scarborough rouge valley hospital have merged with scarborough hospital foundation and will be functioning under one foundation these three hospital services offered to our tamil community and our community has helped a big way the baby birth section at the rouge valley hospital by raising funds for the new building the scarborough general scarborough grace and the rouge valley these three hospitals serve over million millions of patients in their neighborhood we are gathered here today this evening to discuss and <coughs> devise ways to raise some of 70000 at this walkathon this year which will be utilized for the purchase of kidney dialysis machine for the three hospitals many members of our south asian community especially the elders will benefit from the service that will be made available through the kidney dialysis machines the hospital kidney dialysis program at all three uh, hospitals is the largest in canada with over 1100 patients actively engaged in dialysis i therefore request and the support of over over <coughs> every one of here this evening to give us a maximum support and cooperation to achieve our goal to raise at least 70000 to purchase those two dialysis machine equipment through fundraising walkathon event shall to take place uh, sunday the june 4th at the kids town water park along birch mound road scarborough pledge sheets uh, are available um, here on your table and uh, um, required funds for f- you can take it and give to your friends and families which will be tremendous benefit to support the kidney dialysis program of the scarborough and rouge valley hospital please note that uh, when you pledge over 20 uh, you will receive a tax receipt and uh, like uh, previous years we have some attractive uh, prizes donated by some of our sponsors Uh, for our fundraising uh, fundraisers we have uh, the first prize uh, um, one of our travel uh, a- agent uh, he uh, he willing to give us a ticket to las vegas ticket and uh, second uh, prize uh, bicycle and uh, ipad and uh, consolation prize of 100 dollar gift cards thank you for your whole heart support have a great evening thank you Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with uh, Shalini, uh, one of the board of directors for Canadian Tamil Chambers of Commerce. Alongside, we have Mr. Sundar Mohan from RBC Bank. So tell us about uh, the walkathon and uh, even partnering, partnering up with the Scarborough Foundation and how it has helped our Tamil community directly. 
So the CTCC has been a part of the walkathon for many years now. I think we started the first walkathon back in 1999. We were one of the very few organizations to partner up with the Scarborough Hospital. Um, for many of you, I know uh, many people know that Scarborough General Hospital, especially the Birchmont campus, is the first place that most of us Scarborough residents go to in the case of an emergency. It's from there on that you get referred to if you need a specialist, but that's the first port of call, right? So the CTCC believes that we need to support our local hospital. Um, they get, like we have to give back in some way possible. And the walkathon was actually started as a is it was a healthy way to give back to the community. Um, initially, it was families like CTCC member families. They would bring their kids, grandkids. They would bring. Um, grandparents would be there anybody it was a community affair people really like enjoyed because it was on a Saturday it was during as the weather was getting good on a summer day people would come by with their whole family and they would just walk they would just walk and it would be like the whole journey would be like people making fun and like having fun and like it was just a good time as well as you were contributing by pledging so it was a really nice cause. We've been doing it for some years now, and we're glad this year that we have a special committee. Uh, we have with us Mohan Sundar Mohan. Um, he's a chair of the committee. He's also a past president. Um, Mohan, do you want to um, add on to that? Yeah, I am. Actually, um, uh, especially the early part of this year, uh, the Scarborough Hospital, uh, Grace and General, uh, they merged with uh, uh, Rooch Valley Hospital. Right now they are under one uh, foundation uh, and they are serving more than one million uh, residents in, the, in their neighborhood right now. And uh, they, they, are, uh, they are having some issue with the uh, dialysis, you know, the kidney disease. And uh, there are more than uh, 1,100 people, uh, they need uh, that service. But uh, they are planning to have a new location at Warden and Finch. Uh, next to the, the same building, YMCA building, they want to move and put about more 20 uh, dialysis machine at the location and serve all our uh, residents in that neighborhood. Okay. And uh, they request uh, Chamber of Commerce to, uh, the, and to help us the way we did it uh, in previously by Walkathon. This year we are planning to uh, try to get two dialysis machine each, $35,000. And um, uh, the bank also, uh, like uh, Royal Bank also are helping us. At the same time, chamber members and all the chamber uh, professionals, whoever are involved with, they all are supporting the uh, small business and the uh, big, big company. So today we are here to uh, raise uh, uh, money for the two dialysis mission. Uh, it's worth about $70,000 and um, uh, we need all uh, their support. And uh, this is going to help us uh, for the awareness of our Tamil community, especially the Tamil community, we are using uh, these three hospitals and uh, that is going to help us. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much for being part of this and for having the Tamil community involved in Thank this you, as well. GET Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Evening, folks. And, uh, on behalf of the Scarborough, Hosp Scarborough and Rouge Hospital Foundation and the Scarborough and Rouge Hospital, thank you for coming out this evening in support of the Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce uh, walkathon this uh, June the 4th, Sunday, June the 4th. We're really excited as an organization. And to echo uh, Mohan's remarks earlier, we're extremely proud and grateful for all of the support the Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce has given us over the last 25 years. Uh, your contributions as a community are unparalleled. We use the Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce and our Tamil community as a prime example of what the community can do to rally around to support the hospital as we know it. As you may know, uh, the Scarborough Hospital came together uh, December the 1st and amalgamated with Rouge Centenary Campus along with the General and the Birchmount campuses to form one corporation. We now have one corporation for our foundation and many of our board members are here, Ganison and Stan Multilingam and, and others uh, are here this evening in support of this event and we can't do it alone. You know, as I've said at many of these functions before, the government pays for the operations of the hospital, but when it comes to buying new equipment to help the nurses and the doctors do the jobs that they do so expertly well, 
we need to help them with new innovation, new equipment. And when you have a program like our chronic kidney disease program, which is the largest in Canada and arguably in North America, we have, as Mohan said, about 11 to 1,200 active dialysis patients, over 6,000 patients that have chronic kidney disease and are being managed through the system on a daily basis. The machines, these life-saving machines, help to dialyze the patient's blood. They have to come in minimally three times a week uh, for four to six hours to have their blood dialyzed so that they can live. And unfortunately, dialysis is a life-ending process. So what we hope to do with great care and the technology of these machines is to help extend the life of these individuals. And these machines cost $35,000 each. So your target this year of trying to raise 70,000 will help us purchase two new machines that will be added to our uh, approximately 85 other beds and machines that we currently have in use. So to each and every one of you, please uh, go online to the Chamber's website and to www.tsh.to. You can sign up for the walk, you can pledge online, or there are pledge forms here. Get the word out through your social media contacts. Ask your friends, families, neighbours to come on out and support the Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce. The walkathon's a great day. We go around from Kidstown Park along Finch, up Warden, along McNichol, and then back for some tasty foods and treats afterwards. So to everyone here, thank you again for all your support. God bless. Hey guys, we are here with Mr. Sumar. How are you today, sir? Yeah, good. I'm great. All right. How was your day? Oh, he's fantastic. That's good. So today we are here at the launch for the 2017 Walkathon presented by Canadian Tamil Chambers of Commerce. How many years have you attended the Walkathons that uh, is presented by CTCC? Okay, I have I have never been to the Walkathon. Okay. Your first time. This is the first time for me, but I have. Uh, uh, we used to do our contribution, but uh, if I get some time, yes, but this is not the, this may be the first time first that time. I'm going to do it with them. So the whole family is going to be there on June 4th? I hope if they get some time, this is a very <laughs> great cause. Okay. There is nothing called that uh, we shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Everybody, whoever can, mm -hmm. definitely they should make it. And this year, the pledge is that uh, uh, Canadian Tamil Chambers of Commerce is going to be presenting, trying to present two dialysis machines to the hospitals. What do you think about this cause? Because I am personally, I'm, I'm, I know what you mean by this dialysis because my mother had gone through this. This is one of the fantastic the decision that uh, Count the Chamber has taken. And uh, as I know, uh, if you because a lot of people doesn't know about the, what the dialysis machine yeah. do. Yeah. And without the dialysis machine, uh, if we are not going to help, yeah. and mostly our community who make use of this the, the, the hospital. And if there is no machine available, there is no choice, and um, you know what will happen. And in few months or few years, they are gone. So definitely, this is our responsibility. Our community should work with the hospital to do this. So thank you very thank you much. For your thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, as uh, Shalini said that. Uh, uh, I have working closely with both sides of the organization, Scarborough Hospital Foundation and, uh, and the Chamber. Uh, in the past years, we have sometimes we have debates that uh, is the walkathon, is it, is it, are we going to continue this, we're going to do, is it, is it worth doing it? But I always say the deed uh, goes both way. Uh, as Charlene said that because I have a, a close access to both organizations uh, and how much is uh, help each other so the community is exposed to the, the the hospital the hospital exposed to the community so it's, it's a great deed who so goes both way as i say and um, on behalf of the uh, hospital foundation i would like to thank uh, mohan uh, sri and kula for spearheading this initiative this is a, a very good initiative um, uh, also i am a part of the south asian philanthropy council in within the board and uh, uh, if anyone here that would like to take a tour of the dialysis facility, uh, I am more than happy to uh, engage and take them a tour because when you go and see only that you understand that how much of a Tamils that, you know, uh, need of these services and 
even we'll be surprised when we go in there, we see people that we know. So it's a, it's a great, uh, great uh, initiative that Mohan, thank you for initiating that. And beyond that, you know, I have a great pleasure to uh, introduce a good friend of mine, a pillar of the community, and uh, he does a lot of things for community a lot of people don't know, but as a good close friend, I know that how uh, without any expectations that he has done so much for the community. So he is a pillar of the community, great friend of mine, and I'm so pleased to introduce Sugumar Ganeshan to come and say a few words about the hospital and the philanthropic council and then why he is doing what he does for the hospital. Thank you. So good. I'm not here to talk about the hospital because I have seen guys here and the board of directors, Krishan Sundalingam is there from the board, uh, the uh, Stan is there also from the council, Stan is there too and uh, Mohan is from the council too. So I have seen a lot of people uh, here from the council well as the hospital board. I am here to tell you all the, my ex true story about this dialysis machine. Mr. President, board of directors, members of Chamber of Commerce, Hospital Foundation members, and the South Asian Philanthropy Council members, friends, ladies, and gentlemen. I don't know how many of you all know about this uh, dialysis machine and how it operates. I have a personal touch with this machine because my mother has gone through this dialysis for two and a half years, if I'm not mistaken. And I know how hard it is for the patient to go through. Well, I, you all know that if you have any other disease, there are medications which you can just go and buy it from the pharmacy and you can take it. As Mr. Guy said, if you don't have the machine and if you are not going to do it, your life is, there is an end for your life. And my mother at that time, I have seen that the machines are, there's a lot of shortage of the machines. And uh, I have a story because I have to take my mother to the hospital because otherwise she won't go. I know how much it pains them. First and foremost for the patient, it's a painful operation. It's a painful day to day, or so. the operation is very painful for them. And uh, there are so many youngsters from our community. I don't know whether any of you all know, maybe they don't want to tell you all, but there are so many our community members, as everybody says, our community members are utilizing these facilities in the Scarborough Hospital, which I have known, I have met them, I have seen them, and I dealt with them. What I do, I take my mother and drop her in the hospital. This is a, one side of the story. I have seen there is a young man, age of maybe 20s, early 20s. He wait there to receive my mother. He bring the wheelchair. She can walk, but still he bring the wheelchair and wait there to put my mother into the wheelchair and push her so fast. So I was following him for some time and I'm, I'm just want to know why he do that. I thought he's a voluntary in the hospital. No. Because my mother's turn is first. She have to do the dialysis first. And the, the young man get the, 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 the dialysis machine the second. Sometime what he do, if they're going to take some time, he leave the hospital and go, go away. And this is going on for some time. And because I go there and sit with my mother, I speak, I speak to the other patients. I always spend some time with the, with the other patients because you can see the way that they go through. And it's not that easy. So one day I left my mother in the hospital and I have gone to my work in Brampton because it takes three hours or maximum three, four hours they have to go through the dialysis. And um, I got a call from the hospital saying that my mother is, mother is missing. So I had to rush all the way from Brampton, but quickly I called my home and checked with them. They said, yes, my mother has come back home from the hospital, said that she had done the dialysis. 
and she hired a taxi and gone home. Why? Because she wanted to give that space to that young man. Anyway, the hospital is not happy at all because they informed the police. Because I went and left her at the at the, the at the hospital, and I left left her with the nurse, and so they are not happy what she did. So then I start talking to her and ask her what's going on here. You know what she told me? She said, "You all are taking a dead body." injecting some blood bringing me back taking me back again there's a young man who is going to suffer and who is suffering i want you all to give a life to that man whereas my life is already ending so i don't want to go through this process again and again and again but i understand the problem because the hospital doesn't have too many machines at that time i don't know now is 35000 dollars but earlier it's not that the price is very high so i anyway she is so adamant she is insisting that she is not going to continue doing that dialysis anymore but that's not the way it works in this country so the hospital has invited her back and she went with my help and i was sitting there with her She said that's going to be the last day of the dialysis for her. So the hospital couldn't do anything, and she, they said that we have to call call for a meeting. Of course, there are government officials. I don't want to mention those names because there are a lot of people who help me. There is a good doctor of mine who is a good friend of mine. I invited him to come with me to the hospital on my behalf and my mother's behalf. He is a doctor for my mother too. even the doctor is explaining the situation in front of everybody asking her to understand if she don't do the dialysis what's going to happen because she had to go for three days in a week but she is very adamant she said that she is not going to do it and next day morning we were asked to come and there was government officials about 11 people were there and my mother was there and the hospital and the official said that i shouldn't talk because they were under the impression that she is getting some kind of pressure from us to come that's not true anyway they spoke to her end of the day she said that she is not going to go ahead with it she explained to the hospital was the same the government is spending money unnecessarily on me i had done my life i had done my part i want to go now so the doctor said uh, anyway i think the hospital and the government officials have told everything possible she said no way all this she got a promise from the hospital at that time that space should go to the young man and finally the hospital gave a promise that they will give the space to the young man very sad my mother died in about a week later because the doctor came forward to help her and uh, I don't know how many of you all know to do this dialysis at, at, at one time in other part of the world even of course in Sri Lanka too 17000 rupees but in Canada I think it's costing about 300 dollars per time so you all know the cost of it the government or the, the everybody spending on a patient is very unfortunate because if you all go there and see lots of patients are from our community people it's not that easy and after one month later even i heard even that boy has died because he is too young and he has skipped so many times with all that facilities is there and he don't want to go and spend too much of time over there <clears throat> because the main reason i was so happy and uh, proud to the the ajit and the board of directors to come forward to collect funds specially for the dialysis machine and most of you all don't understand without the machine you can't do nothing if you 
if you have the machine, of course, I think the government can find the nurses or even the space. But then the machine is the most important, as Guy said, government is not going to spend money on those machines. So thank you so much for all of you all to contribute towards to this dialysis machine, which will work to our family, our community, and our people. And also, this is not the only time that we do. We are done some fundraising for the birthing center also in the Rouge River. Under the Kulas leadership, we collected about two and a half, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and there is a ward, special ward in the name of Tamil Ward. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm so proud of you all. Wherever, whenever, you all have some time, I want you all to visit the, with the permission of the hospital, I think they will make arrangement for you all to go for a tour, especially for this dialysis unit. It's amazing, people sitting in the corridor and they are willing to do the dialysis. So this takes at least three, four hours. That is why they are impatient to sit and do it. It's like you are taking them to, you know, when they come out, they feel very uncomfortable for a couple of days. And again, you all have to take them back and do it again. So my dear friends, don't hesitate to give to the hospitals. Because this is a place where definitely one day we are going to make use of it. Wherever, whenever you all could, I want you all to just visit the hospital, be with the hospital. Don't go because of that we are sick and just go and visit them and see this is our hospital, our community hospital. And I won't say one hospital, every hospital is more important to us because if you get sick in some in Mississauga, they are not going to bring you to the Scarborough. So they may, there are people may ask, why should I give here? So give any hospital wherever you all feel, but the hospitals are more important to all of us. Thank you very much for the Board of Directors to give this opportunity for me to say a few words. Thank you so much and take care. Bye. -bye. Hey guys, we, right now we are here with uh, Mr. Nava Kubes. How are you today? I'm doing well. All right. So, we are going to the launch of Walkathon for 2017, presented by CTCC. So, in the event, I will come to two dialysis machines and pledge for the event. So, what do you think about I think that's a very uh, uh, right thing to do, donate. Uh, you, as, you, as you know, South Asians have a, have a tendency to have uh, an increased proportion of diabetes, kidney issues. Uh, Scarborough General Hospital and uh, has a disproportion of South Asians and, and Tamils in specific that, that utilize these uh, services. So that it's very important that we focus towards something that not only gives the community but gives them something that helps our community as well. Exactly. So I think it's a great thing that they're doing. Exactly. Yeah. And from uh, your law office, how, are, is everybody going to show up to this walkathon and support and pledge for this? Absolutely. Yes. We've I, we've uh, we sent out the invitation. Now I can't force them to come, okay. but I, all of them have already decided that they're going to join us. It will yeah. be frowned upon if they don't show up. Right? <laughs> okay, we will make sure. I'll I'll show this interview to them. Let them know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Vanakam, vanakam. Ipanangal. Sri and our director. Sri, how are you? Okay, so this is the Canadian Tamil Chambers of Commerce and the launch for Walkathon 2017. In the Walkathon, you can tell us about the Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce in the Walkathon. I am the Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce. I am the father of the Tamil Chamber of the last 10 years. The Chamber of Commerce in the Walkathon is the awareness of the community. It's a community event that everyone supports each other. And uh, it's a walk, one hour walk in the morning, Sunday. It's kind of a family event. And uh, you don't have to bring a lot of money. Every small thing will help. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Even $5 you can contribute and walk. So it's a very fun event. And uh, it will help the community in because we are at the Scarborough Hospitals, when you go there, you will see signs in Tamils and also they named a, a ward with Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce. So it's very helpful to the community and the 
hospitals. Thank you for all the years of support and continued support. And once again, thank you for talking with yeah, us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, we are here with uh, Mr. Vadanen. Uh, he's the executive director for Canadian Tamil Chambers of Commerce. So, Ungoda experience uh, for Walkathon. Tell us about that first. Um, so, Walkathons are a great place for the community to get together, and it's for a great cause as well. So, uh, I know. Uh, before I got to ch uh, Chambers, I was with the Canadian Tamil Youth Development Center, and we used to host a lot of walkathons as well. And I know how powerful that it can be when the community comes together in one voice and one uh, unison, saying that we're going to walk together for a great cause. Thank you very much for that. And now, thank you for, for the all, hey, not yet, oh, not sorry. done yet. So, for all the youths that are watching this, the younger generation, June fourth is when this event is taking place. If uh, they're not pledging right now, can they show up on the day and pledge, donate? and be part of the event that day? Yes, of course. We're looking for uh, a lot of youth and uh, uh, the next generation to take the uh, community forward. Uh, we are always looking for youth engagement and support. So the day of the event, yes, you can come out, you can help, you can uh, participate, uh, you can walk, you can help. We can, there's so much things that you can do. And then all you have to do is show up at the day of the event and say that I'm here to help. And then we'll, we can get you sorted with that. Thank you. Thank you very much and thank you for the night. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. We have our found, one of the founder mem members are here, Mr. Sri Krishnan. He's the one of the active members and active person who always comes for our events. Uh, past presidents: Logan Velum Milam, Mike Ahilan, Sri Raja. Did I miss anyone? Important person, Mohan Sundaramu. And uh, CTCC president is here, CDC president is here. Rathaur Singham. <laughs> Jaffna Hindu president is here, Sri. Thank you for coming. I want to share a story. I had a friend, still, I have a friend. Uh, 16 years back, he called, uh, he wanted me to come do insurance and then he said, uh, man, I'll call you back in six months. Within that six months, the kidneys started to fail. He was only 33 or something. He's in, the, in this room, he's in this room here, but he's told me, man, don't mention my name, so I respect. It's 17 years back, after five years, he went to India to do a transplant, lasted for five years, came back and now he goes to St. Michael's four times a, day, a week, four hours a day. Sometimes he's in a lot of pain, but still he's active, he's a member of CDCC. So when I called him yesterday and when I said, when I asked him, can you join this? He said, of course. Now, guy said, we are going to have 20 dialysis machines in Scarborough. This man lives in Scarborough, but he goes to St. Michael's, to downtown. The reason, we don't have a facility here. So, CTCC initiated this with the help of the RBC, Sundra Mohan, they were always helping us to raise $70,000 for two machines. If CTCC can raise 600000 this is less than, this is about 10% of that. So, I know we can do it. I know we can do it, so this is nothing. But I need everyone to support us. Thank you, Sukuma Anna, for coming. Last year, when you did the, I think you opened up a ward on behalf of your mother at Scarborough Hospital. I know everyone wants to contribute, but again, every week we have events going. But sometimes certain things we cannot avoid 
we have to continue. Thank you everyone for coming and taking part on this. June 4th, Sunday, if everyone can come. Uh, I think Royal Bank, there is about 16 to 20 staffs here from North York and Scarborough branches. Thank you everyone for coming and taking part on this. And also, there are some new faces. Babu had come here. He has got a business. What do you, what's the name of the store? Fancy Florist. So, what can he do for us? What's your contribution? So he's going to support us for the walk. I know he will do something for us. Thank you. And uh, we have Vijay. He's one of the youngest guys who ran for the conservative nomination for Rouge Park. He called me yesterday and he said, Ajitana, I want to come and meet with you. I said, well, you can come today and take part in our event. So I'm not supporting any parties here, but as a 28-year-old, who is running for elections. So we should, any, it doesn't matter what party it is. If a Tamil is running for a political party, we all should support as a Tamil. So thank you for coming, uh, Vijay. And uh, thank, you, ev thank you everyone for listening to my speech. Thank you. On behalf of the Canadian Tamil Chamber of Commerce and the Scarborough General Hospital, I'd like to officially launch this year's 18th Walkathon for 2017. I hope we have much more successful walkathons and this year will be fantastic, I'm sure. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, it's come to the end of the show where we have to leave and I hope you guys learned a lot about today and the walkathon that's coming up on June 4th brought to you by the Canadian Tamil Chambers of Commerce. TET is proud to be here alongside many of our partners and vendors and our families and friends. So we hope to see you at the walkathon on June 4th, Sunday morning and we'll check out right now. Pack, bye bye.